Trust your emerald heart. Be who you came here to be. Unlock your true potential. Hello friends, this is Victoria and today I would like to share with you some sort of problem I am facing and the solutions I'm gonna try to solve it. And um, I'm gonna share my attitude and my experience it does not necessarily need to be absolutely the same for you although I feel that it could be helpful so that you can learn how to search the answers inside rather than outside so um, I am experiencing some sort of difficulty in terms of um, let's call it uh, abundance prosperity and um, attracting rather than chasing new clients uh, and um, being absolutely free in this expression and I was searching for answers outside although it's not always so obvious like outside everything seems to be perfect outside everything seems to be fine and then I decided to try to look deeper inwards to understand what is that in the subconscious mind which is blocking this and yesterday night I went to sleep and I set up an intention to be shown what I do not see with my human eyes and this is a very powerful tool and I teach about it how to use that intentional dreams and you know when we go to sleep we go to some other places and we can be doing the work and we can be actually setting up intentions so that this work is actually really helpful for our life and I set up an intention to be shown what that is which I do not know and I was pointed to my ex-husband and we've been divorced for more than five years already so the work was done although in the subconscious mind it seems there was still some sort of attitude grudges or judgment or something was being stuck which was actually you know guiding towards uh, the work to be done and this is something that I'm gonna be dealing with today and before I started this recording I actually already did some somatic movement and I made a recording of that as well you can see below um, it is the ability to release to reactivate your light body so that you can go into the subconscious mind directly <laughs> bypassing your mind bypassing your thinking abilities I also created the uh, layout of the light codes over here and you can see there is this one is uh, extended families acceptance grudge uh, judgment release old grudges release and betrayal release so these are all about release which I'm gonna be dealing with and how am I gonna be doing that I'm gonna go into my journaling process, I'm gonna journal, I'm gonna see what is hidden in my subconscious mind and then I'm gonna undo the knots and <laughs> the dots and then um, after this happens I'm gonna take it further to the quantum field so that the uh, distortion is cleared and the pure love is filling up the gaps between the distortions so that we can grow and express together so stay with me i will report how i feel later in one of my programs which is called system reset there is the whole unit about journaling and about releasing through the journaling and i see it as a very powerful tool because when you are able to just clear it up to release to express you don't have to suppress it in your physical body anymore but you have an opportunity to just let it go and it can feel like some sort of ego death at times if for example your memory of your emotion is too strong and you have attitudes but if it is suppressed it is a little bit harder because when we go into the journaling process before we start you can sit with an empty uh, page and you can be like oh I actually have nothing to remember I have nothing to deal with but then 
you go deeper into it layer by layer by layer and then you remember but actually there is the original trauma there is something beyond it and for me so if we speak about this particular situation i'm dealing with it's actually not necessarily only my my uh, ex-husband it's not about him at all it's more about my own attitude my father wound my ancestors and the work i've been doing around all this for this period of time which is quite an interesting process and um i suggest doing it <laughs> for everyone because you know we are here to deal with the ancestral healing because um, all our ancestors have not only the distortions but also wisdom and by rejecting a part of that we are cutting our own leg you know and we want to actually have the wholeness we want to have the wholeness of all multidimensional selves we want to have the wholeness and coherence of our mind and heart we want to have the wholeness of all the fragments and fractals of our mind as well subconscious and conscious as well and consciously make a choice of um, going deeper and that's what I'm going to do in my journaling process so here are the final codes which happen to be the result of my inner work and the inner process and it was the same which were there in the beginning um, ancestral healing and acceptance of extended family judgment release grudges release betrayal release and also the sacred healing um, money shame release and throat activation because the throat activation is actually the result of all the healing and the release and ability to be able to speak your truth to share your gifts and magic and wisdom and to go to the next level of expansion thank you for witnessing this story of mine and although i was working with this story for quite a while this is as much of journaling which i had to make because the emotion was hidden behind and then i had to come and make uh, breaks and and appreciate my emotions and then make the manifestation and come back into the gratitude and only after that i could put that into the quantum field of all the possibilities so that it magically envelope in the physical reality connect with me to learn more and to go deeper with your own situations and here's the final thing that i want to share with you today when you finish writing and processing and experiencing your emotion and releasing and transforming and alchemizing it to something different that is the moment when you are able to put that new belief or new manifestation or new desire or new feeling you can give it shape color whatever and just put it into the quantum field of all the opportunities and see how it magically aligns with your life and the difficult part is actually to process the emotions and to process the attachment to the outcome because if you're very attached like waiting anxiously for the result the result will take longer to envelope and yet if you believe that it will be there and just you know forget about it and just put it into there and experience the bliss and the energy shift and the feeling in your body the energy which is activated the energy which is playing the energy which is dancing that is the moment when you are able to attract whatever you want in your life you truly believe and feel it in your body as if it is already here and this magically activates the opportunities people come into your life situations develop somehow so that it is possible and it is possible there is nothing blocking you from your blossom except for your own mind 
work with your mind, work with your subconscious beliefs, work with what is hidden and what is not on the surface level, address the emotions, and then you will be able to create the reality and to merge the realities whichever way you feel is good for you and those around yourself. Have a wonderful day.